In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to add a Google map to your web page. There are different reasons why you might want to add one. For example, if you have a business site and you want to show your office location, you can have a Google map with that. And that Google map will give your visitors the option of using the directions button on the map to find their way to you. The way I use it on this website is to highlight the place where I've been to take some photos. Before I post some photos, I'll create a Google map with the location on it so that if anybody wants to go and have a look, in this case at llamas and owls particularly, then they can find out where that location is. There may be other reasons why you want to have a Google map on your web page. Now there is a number of ways you can add a Google map. One of them is with a plugin and there are quite a few plugins available. If we do a search for Google Maps, whoops, I've spelt maps wrong, Google Maps. Okay, you can see a number of different plugins here that are all designed to help you with Google Maps. The good thing is though, you don't actually need to use a plugin for that. If you go over to Google Maps, which is maps.google.com, we can actually get the map we want there, get, get some embed code, and then embed that code directly into our own pages. This means we don't need to install plugins to insert Google Maps onto our site. That's good because you obviously want to try and restrict the number of plugins you've got because they can slow your site down. So let's have a look. I'm going to type in, I'm going to see if I can find the Google map for, let's say, Chester Zoo. So I'm going to type Chester Zoo. There we go. And Google now has the Google map available. What I need to do is click on the share button and then embed a map. And it gives me some embed code. You can do a small map medium lap, map, large map, and there is a custom option as well where you can put in your own sizes. I'm going to stick with the medium map and then all I need to do is copy the HTML that's found up there. Let's go back to our site and I'm going to find a page where I can insert this map. I'll just shove it into the About Us page and I'm going to go down to where I want to add it. If you're using the classic editor, you would click on the text and you would paste that code in there and update. If you go back to the visual tab now, you'll see that your Google map is present in your post. Let, let me undo that because I want to show you what to do if you're using Gutenberg. Okay, and I'm now in the editor with the block editor Gutenberg. You need to scroll down to where you want to insert the map. I'm going to put it under this title and click on the plus to add a block. And the block that we want is called custom HTML. So let's add the custom HTML. We can paste in the code that we got from Google and let's click on update. And then if we go over and view our web page, scroll down, you can see that the Google map has now been embedded. The nice thing, as I said before, is that if you embed maps, then your visitors can click on the direction button so they can actually get directions to drive or walk to your site and they can enlarge, zoom in, zoom out of the maps. They can save it as a favorite. It's a great way to tell people where you are or to highlight a location that's important to the page or post you are creating. Something that is quite useful at times is to be able to reorder your posts. Now, you may wonder, why would I want to reorder my posts? Well, if you think about your archive pages, your category pages and your tag pages, posts are listed in the order of publication, and this might not be what you want. To give you an example, I've created here a category on my site called Tutorial, and I've posted five posts into the Tutorial category. If you look at it, the first one I posted was the introduction, then the basics, then the intermediate, then the hard, then the closing. And on the category page, they're ordered in the wrong order for what I want. So it would be nice to be able to reorder those so that one is at the top, five is at the bottom. There are different ways you can do this. One of the ways you can do it is to go into the all posts and you can actually change the publish time. So you could make this number five, the one that was published first, this one published second, this one published third, this one published fourth, and this one published fifth. But the problem is that you might then decide you want to start adding other tutorials in amongst those and you want to reorder them, renumber them and so on. So it's not very effective to just keep having to go in and change the publish date. 
Also, Google might think it's a little bit strange that you keep changing the publish date just so that you can get the order. They may think there's some other reason you're doing that. One thing you can do though is you can install a plugin. And there's a plugin called Post Order Type. In fact, it's called Post Types Order. Let's install that. And then we're going to activate it. And then once you have activated it, it says post types order must be configured. Please go to the settings page. Let's click on that. You'll actually find the post order here under reorder, but let's go down to the settings first. I am going to click on save settings. I'm not making any changes. And let's go up to the posts now and go to reorder. And what you can do is you can actually drag and drop. So I want that one first, that one second, that one third, that one fourth. And then once you've done the order as you want them, just click on update. Items order updated. Let's go back to my tutorials page and reload. And you can see now they're in the right order. What's great about that is if I want to make a new post, let's say, and I'll call this three point five we'll call it quite hard and let's publish that publish one thing i forgot to do i forgot to select the category so let me just go and do that now down here it's selected the default category which is not what i wanted let's just update that and we'll go back to the tutorials page and refresh and now we have a problem the one i've just published is at the top and actually i want it inserted between three and four simple enough let's go back to the reorder page i'm going to refresh and all i need to do then is just drag them to the right position click on save and then once i get the confirmation that the save has gone ahead we can go and have a look and we see one two three three and a half four five so that's the post type order plugin really useful if you need to reorder things on particularly archive pages but also you'll find that in recent post widgets the reordering will work as well, so you get the posts in the order you actually want them with that widget as well.